how you feel about um, being a part of something that could be a, a really big sort of change in your high school. So how do you feel? I feel good that it's for, I'm trying to help other people too, not just myself. Um, what was, because I, I don't think that we've spoken with you since the video came out, what was your reaction to the fact that it got so much attention nationally? Um, that got so much attention. I mean, what did you think in those days? I didn't think Walter sat down with your mom and then Anderson Cooper picked it up and all that stuff. I didn't think it was going to get that much attention, but I was kind of excited that it did because with that attention, I could help other people too. And talk to me about your philosophy about having to go back to the school or something that was really tragic and unfair happened to you. You have to go back there every day. Talk to me about why you do that. Because when you get out the island, you get back up again, and you have to always be yourself no matter what, and you have to stand up for what you believe in. What are you hoping that your school district, your principal and whatnot do now that um, the ACLU has gotten involved? What, what do you hope changes there, and how do you hope that they respond after today? That they help out. Uh, that, that, that's going to be a legal decision. Okay. Um, we will be discussing what the appropriate response will be. Okay. But I mean, but at, at your school, you have to hope that things change and what you think that they will do. I mean, not even, you don't, yeah, I know you're not a lawyer. I'm not a lawyer either. So, but it's like, we won't have that again. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm a reporter. You know that. So, what do you hope, what do you hope that, what do you hope that? Better changes were made to a situation like this for any other kid, not just me. How so? Like, more than just a three day suspicion for something that violent and mean. What'd you think when you got just three days? I was like, at first, I was like, I don't know, but I don't think they, um, I'm not going to answer that one. No. The lady that videotaped the young lady that videotaped it is not How do you feel about that? I'm not very happy about that. Do you think of the young lady part of it? Not um, the young lady knew all day that it was going to happen and didn't report it to anybody. So I think she was just what did, I don't think it occurred for me since the charges were filed, but then how did you feel after, after the charges were filed? I was actually glad that he pled guilty because I didn't really want to think about that her again. You know, um, I just think that I hope that he learns from his mistake and doesn't do it again. However, he does, you know, need to accept the punishment. Have you not been saying? No, he has not. Have you guys received any kind of, like, Directly home or anything like this? Anything like that? Um, I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You know, going back to what you said about Yeah, it should be accepted in a small home to help with that. Actually, the phrase you use is Bible Beater and Red Next Go to this school. What can you expect? Yeah. That was. That's what the principal said? Yes, yeah, I'm sitting in the office and he's going to. In a way, so as. So I throw up my hands and I can't do anything about this, or we have, I mean, there are different ways to do that, or we have a difficult throw up. And I mean, what was, what was the tone and the context of the conversation? I tried to beat around the bush with it, honestly. When we were in the office, he tried to, like, work every way around it and try to get us home and away from it. He wanted it dropped. It seemed like that was what it was. It's it, 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 yeah. Explain that. Like for being different, my friend got beat up, and um, one of the staff members there said it was to be expected because the student was different. So it can't be different in yeah. the middle high school. Pretty much what he said. Dean, what, what do you make of the principal saying, well, these are Bible beaters and red beaters? It sounds like that's a culture apparently that's permitted to exist. And unless school administrators take these issues seriously, it will continue to fester. 
and there will be other incidents. Now, this incident just happened to be caught uh, on a video recording. It happened to go viral on the Internet. But think of the number of times this has happened, and may continue to happen, and unless or until school administrators start to take it seriously. It's no excuse that the demographics of a certain school are, are different. Uh, I've never heard of the terms that he used, and if he did use those terms, I find it personally appalling that the administrator would use that type of an excuse and actually foster mistreatment by other students.